Holy shit, guys, I'm back. I probably shouldn't swear within the first 60 seconds of my video, but that's okay. YouTube can get mad about it later. Welcome to Auto Legends on the TechX YouTube channel. Yes, I'm a little bit late, but uh, let me give you, in case you didn't see the post on my Discord, let me give you a quick rundown. Why did I vanish from making videos when I was on a good schedule? Well, Ohio went through a heat wave. Uh, it was 93 degrees Fahrenheit or hotter every single day for seven or eight days straight. My PC decided it didn't like that, and my GPU especially really didn't like that because I don't have air conditioning in my house. Well, because I don't have air conditioning, my computer decided to just unalive. Uh, my GPU more specifically, because I've still been running an AMD RX 570 after all these years. Well, big shout out to my friend James, aka Ganny X on most of the discords and auto legends and such. He sent me two day shipping from another state, an NVIDIA 3080 Ti Founders Edition. And here we are, able to record like it's nothing now, instead of how it used to be. So, Let's do my initial impressions of Auto Legends. I have been playing for a couple days, been playing since the initial release on my laptop, and the game was not well liked by my laptop. But I can tell you that on my desktop PC, this looks fantastic. Is that brake rotor a little bit big or is it just me? <laughs> anyway, so. What can we look forward to in the Auto Legends videos? Well, I'm going to be doing setup videos. I'm going to be doing meetup videos. I want to do live streams. I want to try to do as much as we can with this. And I don't think I'm allowed to announce it yet, but there is one other thing that you guys might find out about in the future um, that I am very excited about. And I do have two codes left that they've given me. I was given 10 codes to give them away. I have two codes left. If you are interested in trying out Auto Legends and you still haven't been emailed a code, leave a comment down below. I will select one of you randomly and give you a code so you can play Auto Legends. Keep in mind you have to have a Windows PC or a Mac PC. It's easiest if you're in like the USA or something like that. Um, there's a couple countries that are having issues, like uh, Australia I believe is the main one that's having issues. but. You know, leave a comment down below. I'll pick somebody at random, you guys, and you can join us on Auto Legends. But anyway, let's do my first impressions. Uh, well, not first impressions, but a after a couple days of play. So keep in mind, this is alpha testing. Alpha comes before beta in the software and gaming world. Alpha means, hey, this is the basic formula of what we're trying to do. Does it work? There's going to be bugs, there's going to be glitches, there's going to be exploits, there's going to be everything under the sun wrong with the game. Uh, things are going to be thrown in on a very basic level. They're not going to be what their professional finished product idea is. So, obviously, you know, keep that in mind of what this is. But, it looks fantastic already. I can't wait for some kind of drone mode or camera mode or photo mode somewhere for the game and for the cars and stuff. Uh, I had a free cam tool that I was using in pre-alpha where I could even move the car around my garage and stuff like that and take photos in different places. It looked phenomenal. Obviously, you know, maybe that'll be a full feature in the future. One other thing let's check out is the profile card. I love the idea of this profile card. It doesn't really mean anything yet. Um, the total races and cars owned counter, I do believe works as well as the flag and changing your username as well as changing your icon. You cannot do your own icon yet. But with that, let's go to the map. So on the map right now, this is a very basic thing. Expect it to change in the future. There is memory lane classics which is probably going to be exactly that. It's going to be a dealership specifically for classic cars. There's also an exotic import, which is probably going to be only exotic cars. There's Speed Lab, Home, exactly what you think it is, Sixth Street Bridge, which is a real place, Fast Eddies, which is a place you can go to buy quote-unquote used cars. Right now they're just auto-generated. And the Hangers, which is more like an actual drag strip track. 
this is like a street race. This is an actual like professional quote unquote track. So right now, let's go to Fast Eddie's because I actually want to get a different car. Everybody's ranting and raving about the Evo. I want to find an Evo. So let's find an Evo. Now, one thing a lot of people don't know is, yes, you can use the mouse to move through here. You can also use your scroll wheel. You can use WASD as well, but it's a little bit fast, so it's a little bit jarring. But let's find an Evo somewhere around here. Let's see if there is one in my car lot. If there's not, we'll change cars. So right now, it doesn't look like I have any Evos that I can select. I can always wait till later and try to get one. I think instead, I'm going to go for a very fancy pants RX-7. The RX-7 I wanted is not here anymore. Dang. Um, well, you can also view inventory this way. I like going by cash or by lowest price. I hope they also do like, oh, they do have highest price. I never clicked that. I'm not going to do a highest priced car now because I only have 200k on this account. So I might have to open my laptop and do some money transfers. That's a good idea. I can farm cash. We'll talk about that later. I have an idea for that. So anyway, let's scroll through and find a RX-7. RX-7s are usually... Not exactly cheap, but they aren't exactly expensive either. So I have this weird brown one I can buy. I have a white one. And that's about it for RX-7s. There's a VR4 here too, but like I said, I'm not going to buy an overly expensive car. So let's get this white RX-7. As you can see, it brings you back here if you click it that way, which is okay. I want to make sure there's no differences between these. There's not. All right, so we're going to buy the white one, and we're going to go build it real quick. So we're going to go deliver to garage. Obviously, it's going to show up in my garage. And we're going to go back to the map because that's where I want to be. We're going to go speed lab because I want to build the car and throw some parts on it. There are glitches with the performance shop right now, so keep that in mind. But right now, it's basically just throw all the most expensive parts at it. There are some strategies people have figured out. But right now, I'm just going to kind of throw everything I can at it. So that does something. This doesn't say what it does, but I'm going to actually add it. So there is a glitch right now that everybody is basically taking advantage of. I would compare it to like twin charging in real life. What twin charging is in real life is when you have supercharger and turbo on the same car. You can do that currently in Auto Legends, but I don't think it'll be a thing in the final product and it's a bug they'll definitely fix. Another thing that I kind of hope they fix is they add sub menu buttons instead of having the slide menu. This slide menu works very well on a touch screen. I was playing this on my girlfriend's laptop. It was phenomenal. I think on an actual desktop, though, without a touchscreen, I would rather have submenus here for these different things. So, like, you would click exhaust, then it would show three buttons, catalytic converter, um, exhaust manifold, and cat back. You would click the buttons up here or something like that, and then it gives you a, mem uh, a menu. But for right now, obviously, this is already awesome because they do have to think about both uh, systems and functionalities. So nitrous right now actually doesn't work in the game, so I'm not going to add it. There is also a glitch in the game right now where you basically install your drive trap, your drive shaft, your transmission, differential, clutch, and flywheel. You install all that stuff, do your gear ratios, and then take one of them off. So I don't remember. We're going to do drag tire. I think that is the better tire. And then we're going to do some weight reduction. And you don't want to do reinforcement right now. It doesn't actually do anything. But we're going to check out. Now, the game does have installation timers. We don't know what they're going to look like in the final product, but you can use the hard currency to speed it up. So that's not really a big deal right now. But we're going to go back to Speed Lab, go Performance, go Supercharger, and we're going to install the Supercharger. Now, does that sound stupid? Yes, but it does work, and you will actually gain horsepower because of that. So I'm at 369. I forgot to do engine internals. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, this should be like 400-something. What is going on here? 
It's because it doesn't have an image for rotary internal, so I just my brain didn't see it. So we're going to go confirm, install, and back to speed lab. 462, I think that's the right horsepower. I could be wrong. I don't remember. But let's go with looking at visuals. So one thing you also need if you're doing the glitched install is, oh, I already have it. No, I don't. You need one of these. One of these actually does raise your horsepower, which I don't know if that's supposed to be a thing because it's like a free-flowing exhaust. Um, it did not raise my horsepower. Is it this one? There is also another weight glitch as well that I've heard about where you install... Oh, yeah. See? I gained four horsepower. So that's the right final horsepower. But... Let's look at visuals. So let's do front bumper. Let's look at a bunch of these. There's a bunch of cool stuff in here. I think I'm going to go with a cleaner look, and I'm going to go with this one. Let's do rear bumper. When you click one of these options, it should rotate you to that specific option, I think, in the future, which will be nice. Uh, these don't change much except debadge it. I don't want to debadge it. I love the RX-7. I don't think there's a reason to hide what it is. We'll go with these OEM style skirts. Let's look at diffusers here. There's a ton of them. I also wish you could go up and down. So like you could get a better angle of looking at the diffusers and stuff. That thing is huge. Get a better, better angle of the different diffusers and stuff like that. Oh, that one's sick. I don't know if I'm going to actually go for it. There's a lot of diffusers on this thing. Holy cow. I think I'll go with this super clean one right here. Let's look at hoods. Especially, I want to go up, especially now. Like, you can kind of go up, as you can see. It's very slow. Let's see, what hood do I want? Oh, I like this one. Kind of reminds me of a Dodge Viper for some reason. Mirrors. I used to have mirrors like this on my uh, 2007 Honda Civic, actually. Rear windshield. Oh, it's got louvers. <laughs> Let's do everything, man. Forget it. Front splitter. See, you can kind of go up and down. It's a pain in the butt right now, and I really hope they fix that. Okay, that doesn't work with this front bumper. Got it. Uh, trunk. <laughs> I'm trying to go up. <laughs> I don't see what's changing about the trunk, so I'm not going to bother. Spoilers. There's a ton of rear wings for this game. It's insane. There's some really big ones, some cool duck bills. I really like that one, although I kind of want to go big. Make it flashy. There's nothing wrong with flashy. Yeah, let's go with this one. And then exhaust tip we already got. Headlights. There's different headlights. Oh, yeah, there's all this stuff. I wish there was an option to just open them. Like, let me open it and leave it open. Do like a headlight uh, key would es especially be really cool. I'm going to go with these guys, though. And then taillights. I didn't actually realize there were taillights. These LED taillights are sick. These ones remind me of a Midnight Club set. But let's go with this one. There we go. That's sick. And wheels. So we're going to do probably my favorite wheels so far in the game. Specifically drag racing wheels. But we're going to do a different one on the front versus the rear. So I'm going to go with these on the front, and then on the rear, I'm going to actually go with these ones. These are a little bit wider. They give a nice stance, and this is a rear-wheel drive car anyway, so let's go check out, confirm, speed it up. Anybody else play Street Skater 2? Every time I say speed it up, I think speed it up or you're done, skatey, or something like that. Um, it was, it was a line from the game. Uh, let's look at paint. I want to do my favorite color. That's a sick color though. Hold up. That is a sick color. I was going to go for my favorite blue, which is like this, but I really like that. I really like the pop of this. Let's paint the car that that is a sick color. That is a sick color. All right, so we painted it, and now we can go into tuning. So there are 
two different things you can currently do in tuning. There is stance and tires. People have figured out if you put the ride height to the maximum, your car is actually faster for some reason. So I'm going to raise it all the way up. Um, give me one second. I need to pull up the little guide that we have. Shout out to Sonic for sharing his ride height and all that. Uh, so that's fine. Rim diameter. He has them set to 17s. So I'm going to go with that. Width. He has it all the way down, which makes sense. Tire stretch, he has it in the middle at zero. Cool, and sidewall, he has it at 55. Let's look at his rear tires. Rear is 14 for ride height. Camber and spacer is zero. Rim diameter is 18. So we're going to go with that. His width. It's also really small. I'm going to go against that and do as thick boy as I can. Thick boy as I can. And sidewall, I want thick boy. That's real big. Holy crap. I kind of want to do something somewhat realistic, though. So maybe I won't do the tire stretch. Because uh, I can't go up anymore. I know it makes a difference, but it doesn't make that much of a difference. Hold on. That looks that looks okay. I think I'm going to go down another notch. There we go. Cool. So that's my stance. I kind of don't like the front. It doesn't fit, but I have to do it or else it's not going to be as fast. Gearing. Now, gear ratios are very important. He has 4.23. I changed the wheels ever so slightly, so that's probably going to change for me a little bit. 3.79. I really hope we can type these in eventually. Second gear, 223. I also kind of hope we can see to the third decimal place eventually. Gear 3, 1.5. Whatever. Gear 4, 115. Whatever. Gear 5, 95. There we go. So, what do you want to do after that? Well, you need to uninstall something. You need to go into your drivetrain and drive shaft. You need to make number one. Uh, differential, you need to make number one. Where's differential? Differential needs to be item number one and transmission needs to be number one which is right here so apparently if you do this it removes a ton of weight but you can see the install time so there's a bug with install times right now but you can actually get around it sometimes if you do something that's not already installed on the car so i'm not going to do these right now but that's something you want to do if you want to be competitive in rx7 is uninstall those parts so you can see there's the test drive button here i'm not going to use this i don't personally like the auto launch of the test drive button so we're going to go back and we're going to go to the hangar and now i'm going to introduce you to car meetups this is sick and i really hope they also take the idea of just car meets in general and put them in the game where it's not hey somebody can send me a race because i'm in here like i want there to actually be you know actual car meets but as you can see right now they have a lot of the lobby functionality disabled as you can see my car is here this is one of the ais this is an actual person that thing looks sick dude the visuals of this game are so good that's another ai and then a couple other that's an ai this is not an ai but let's do a race against one of the AIs. So there is two options for racing. If you do challenge, you can do um, private race, which is this button, or public race, which goes to the live race, and you wait in a uh, you wait in a line, basically. So we're gonna go accept, and we're gonna hop right into a race. Now there are a lot of glitches. Like I said, this race might not even start, for all I know, but that's okay. Now, you might have noticed I didn't install Nitrous. Nitrous right now doesn't do anything. It 
I don't know if it's a bug or if they just never coded it. But it took us a while to realize it, unfortunately. Yeah, nitrous doesn't do anything. So we're going to do the burnout. Now you're going to see some resemblance to a very specific need for speed game here. It The need for speed game I am thinking of is need for speed pro street. You can kind of uh, blame me for that. There are two camera angles, so there's two and one. I prefer uh, two. Right now, the meta is kind of to just full rev. And then you actually shift at the highest point possible, regardless of what the green slash orange area is. And it will lock you at 100% throttle as soon as you launch your car, which is okay. But as you can see... That was pretty slow for RX-7, actually, but that might be because I still have a lot of those parts. But I still gained my 5,000 cash. I probably need to change Final Drive a little bit because I didn't um, install certain parts. But as you can see, I still had a 0.13 reaction time. It even tells you the difference right here. So a di 0.9 difference, um, 1.5660 foot, 4.2330. 6.48 eighth mile. It tells you everything. It breaks it down really nicely. And it says I won. So I really want them to add like a photo op option here where you can hide this and like take a screenshot of the cars together. I think that's something that'll be really cool eventually. But, you know, we just saw a race on the uh, at the hangars. Let's look at what live races looks like. We might be actually watching my own race here now that I think about it. But they are adding a spectator mode. Now, I really hope they add an automated drone mode. Because I think an automated drone mode in this mode would actually be pretty sick. But what you can do is you can send um, little things to people. You can actually select which person you think is going to be the viewer favorite. You can see the live chat. You can also full screen. And actually hide all this stuff although it should hide this button and you just like click to get it back up or something like that you can also you know he's doing the sick uh nos spray thing there but you can see he launched and there he goes and he's obviously gonna win but you can sit here and you can like hit him with some uh little emotes and stuff like that it's pretty sick you can also throw him at your opponent with one two and three in a race as well but I think it's pretty awesome. You can also see who's up next if there is anybody up next. There's no way the back button. Okay. But yeah, so that's what that is. Now we can go to meetup and let's go to the bridge. I want to show you guys the bridge and then we'll call it a video. I'll do a race at the 6th Street Bridge and we'll call it quits after that. So there is something that the community discovered at this bridge that a lot of people are hoping they leave it in the game. The dev team largely doesn't like um, the idea of what is here and the little bug that is with the bridge but if you're in a race so let's challenge Campos here who is an AI you will notice at some point in the race there's a weird little bump at like the thousand foot mark and it's almost like you're going downhill a lot of people want them to keep that because it's realistic. This is a street. No street is perfectly flat unless you literally go scout for a flat street. In real life, Sixth Street Bridge also has a slight bend to it. That is something I believe they actually removed from this to keep it realistic. But the little bump at the end of the race is something that everybody is kind of hoping they actually keep. And they go, for, and we'll go from there with it and we'll see what they do. I'm really hoping they keep it. But here we go. So we're going to full rev. Cars are staged. And three, two, one. Oh, yeah, I don't have nitrous. Nitrous doesn't matter anyway. It's okay. So as you can see, I had that weird little hiccup there in the RPM range. You'll see it at about the 1,000 foot mark. I had a weird little hiccup. You can spam the emojis. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> but as you can see, that's a race on the 6th Street Bridge. So, again, oh, I hit a, point, a perfect 10. Sick. 
But yeah, no, I'm really excited for where Auto Legends is going to go. I'm really excited for the ideas they have. And overall, I just really hope that this turns into something amazing that everybody can enjoy. So I hope you guys are excited. That's Auto Legends. Uh, and I hope to be doing some more videos for you guys soon. So pay attention. Obviously, I never usually ask for subscribers because I think it's kind of cringe. But I've been away for a while. Hit the button for me. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.